What is going on entrepreneurs? Uh, right now I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Canva to create your awesome designs for your logos for your business. Um, you can create t-shirt designs, you can create uh, designs for flyers and posters and thumbnails for YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, so many things. And I, I use Canva for just about everything. And what I love about Canva is you don't even need to be artistic, right? You just have to be able to be creative and be able to drag and drop the elements that Canva offers. Now I'm gonna go into that a little bit more, but right now we are just going to, uh, we're just gonna do a little tutorial on how to create logos for your business. Okay, so here we go. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna log into Canva. All right, so whatever email that you uh, that you used or whatever account you use, you're gonna log in. And now I'm gonna log in with my Eteen Lab. And I have two businesses, Eteen and Kids Biz Labs. I'm logging in with my Eteen Lab. All right, and uh, now I'm popping in my password. Hopefully I get it right, hopefully I get it right. And there it is, I'm in. All right, and I am using the professional education version, and you might be using this. If your instructor sent you a link um, to access the education version, then you're using the professional version like I am today. Now, if you're just using the free version, it's completely fine. The free version of Canva, the basic version, has a lot of great functionality. So you can do a lot of things in the basic version, but with the professional education version, you can just do a little bit more. So here we are. Now, uh, this is the homepage or the dashboard. And I have a lot of projects, a lot of things going on in this. But right now, you're just going, going to just focus your attention to the top right of the screen where it says create a design. Now, check this out. These are the suggested or the most popular templates that people use Canva for. Okay, documents, whiteboard, logo. It's already here, logo. And that's what you're going to push in a sec. So Facebook posts, graphs, videos, Facebook covers. So, so many different options. And if you don't see your option here, you can type it in. Let's say I'm creating a t-shirt design. I'm gonna type in t-shirt. Ooh, not Y shirt, t-shirt. All right, and that's it, I just pushed T. Okay, there it is. So that's what I would use if I was creating a design for a t-shirt. And I'm gonna show you how to download and export the files and all that stuff. So what I'm teaching you will apply to everything else as well. Okay, so let's create a design. We're gonna to go to logo. And like I said, it's a lot of drag and drop. Um, so if you, whatever business you have, you're gonna search in the, the elements of your business. If you have a flower business or a lawn mowing business or if you're making crafts, you would just search logos up here. Now my business, I have a couple businesses, but the one I'm gonna use for, the one I'm gonna to use today is gonna to be my scooter business. I have a kick scooter and electric scooter business called Slick Scoots. So I'm gonna type in scooters in the search menu for designs. If you look on the left, design, elements, text, brand, upload. So you can upload your own photos too, by the way and use those in all your designs. So if you're creating t-shirts, really cool option if you wanna upload a photo and include the photo in your design. But again, we're focusing on logos today. You can draw different projects, okay, and different apps. This is, this is brand new, so there are AI apps now in Canva, really cool features, but we're not gonna be using those today. You could spend hours just kind of playing around. There's so many things you can do on this, but we're gonna keep it simple. Design, that's where you wanna go and type in whatever your business is. So, but let's just say if I, let's just say my business is lawn, mowing lawns. Let's see, so check this out. I'm just saying, whatever your business is, type it in up top. It's gonna to give you design templates that you can use. Let's do that. I'm gonna go back to Slick Scoots scooters um, and look I actually like this one here so uh, except this is not a kick scooter right so I can change this I'm gonna delete that I'm gonna go over here where it says elements 
and I'm going to type in scooters in elements. Elements are all the illustrations and photos and videos. Everything that you need is in your elements. You can do shapes and, and whatever. Whatever you're looking for, you're going to type it in. Kick scooters. Graphics, photos, videos. Okay, we're going to go to gra... I'm going to use graphics. You can use anything else here. Photos. I'm going to go to graphics. And again, play around in here a little bit. You'll have some you'll have some time. This is a short video, all right? You'll have class time to do to kind of work through this. You can work through this at home. I like this first one. Cool. And I'm going to maximize the space usage. I want to make this bigger. Make it bigger in the box. All right, two wheels. This isn't the name of my business, so I'm going to change the text to Slick Scoots. Again, this is just an example. You're going to type in whatever your business is, and your image is going to be whatever your business is. Okay, if you have a lemonade stand, your logo was pro will probably be a lemonade stand or lemons. Okay, so let's go. I like that. Okay, good. Bottom left, I'm going to create three different logos. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to click these little dots, duplicate page. I'm on the second page, which is good. Good. And I'm going to delete this and I'm going to create another image. I'm going to put another image in here and guess what? I'm going to make it bigger to fill up the space. I really like this one. I really, really like this one. Okay. I'm going to keep that as is. Oh, and by the way, you can also change the background. If you want to download the background, you can. But with these first two, and I don't know what I'm going to do with the third one yet, but these first two, I don't want the white background. I don't want any background, right? I want to just take the logo. I want to take the image and take the text. And that's what I want to download. I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you're making t-shirts, t-shirt designs, or any designs for any merchandise, you don't want the background. You most likely will not want the background, which is, let me show you background, right? So I click here. No, nope, that's the image. I'm going to click to the left. And there we go. That's the background. It's right. See the square? Up here, there's a palette of colors. You can change the background, okay? Which is cool. It's a cool option. I love these gradients down here. A gradient are color transitions. So obviously my logo is black. So I want a light background. So that's cool. That's really cool. I like that. But I'm going to get rid of this background. Because I don't want the background. I want the background just transparent. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then my final logo, I'm, I created a new page. Going back to the left where it says elements and designs. And okay, I want text. So, and you can just scroll through here and just go crazy. Just try any of these you want and put your business name in and add backgrounds and add shapes and colors and other images and go nuts if you want. But I'm just going to keep it simple right now. Slick. Scoots. Well, that's too big. So I need to make this much, much smaller. So let's see. There we go. Perfect. Also, check this out. Pay attention very carefully. I'm going to add an effect to the text, which is this is one of my favorite features of Canva. I can add different effects to the text. Ooh, I like that. Let's try this one. Nope. I don't like that. Let's go back up. I like this, which says splice. We're going to use that one. We need to use the effect on this other text also. Splice. Nice. See it? Cool. All right. Done with my three logos. So now what? What do I do now? What do I do now? Okay. So we want to download these. Okay. So on the top right of the screen, I'm going to share. I'm going to share as a download okay pay pay attention pay attention transparent background all right it's, you're going to download as a png if you download as a jpeg it will download the white and the letters so the white background or it'll download the background 
I'm going to download as a PNG file and I want the background transparent. If you, if you do create a really cool background or a gradient color in the background, then you're not going to click this box. But me, I don't want the background. I'm gonna, I want my background to be transparent. And then that's it, download. And right now, on the top right of the screen, and your browser, your internet browser should have this too, whether you're using Chrome or Safari or Firefox or Edge. On the top right, you should see a, a down arrow and an option to open the folder. So click on that down arrow and then you, I'm, you can't see what I'm looking at right now, but I'm looking at the folder. It's called a zip file. And then I just click on the zip file and and my images are there so my logos are done so listen have fun experiment with this be creative use your imagination um, and uh, we'll see you on the next video